So if there is a is there a larger byproduct of something else when we're in aerobic metabolism or more beta oxidation? So with carbohydrates, there's a yes, a, a higher amount of you know, carbon dioxide and with aerobic activity, there's a lower amount, but is there a trade-off? Is there a different byproduct that's produced through beta oxidation that we're not necessarily measuring? I'm just curious. So when you are using um, uh, ketones, for example, mm -hmm. right? I mean, our mitochondria use fat, carbs, and ketone bodies. So in that time, the byproduct is, uh, is acetone in your breath. So for example, now we're working on integrate acetone uh, exactly for that for lumen in order to give better insight around how deep someone is in fat burn because carbon dioxide can give you the ratio momentarily um, mitochondria fuel between carbs and fat, but it's not giving you how deep you are in fat burn. By mm -hmm. the way, this is one of the issue with traditional mm -hmm. tools for measuring metabolism. Because when you are in a ketogenic state, you also produce carbon dioxide. Mm -hmm. And we just mentioned that the, the technique based on the ratio between carbon dioxide to oxygen. So like the, the traditional um, measurement might mistake and say, oh, I notice a, a higher carbon dioxide. He, this subject, for example, tend to use carbohydrate, but it's not because of carbohydrate oxidation versus keto bodies. And this is one of the error we currently have in traditional uh, tools to measure metabolism. Not many know, know it, but it's very, very interesting. 